There's a powerful line in scripture that essentially says that no one needed to explain human nature to Jesus. He understood it well. And he knows that oftentimes we get very worried and anxious and fearful about a multitude of things. And so you hear him say over and over through scripture, be not afraid, do not be anxious. You yourself might be a worrier and come from a very long line of worriers in your family. Maybe your mom was a worrier, your grandmother was a worrier. But even if you're not naturally a worrier, every single person tends to worry and become anxious, especially about the future. And that's why the line in the litany of trust is so appropriate and beautiful that says, from anxiety about the future, deliver me, Jesus. And if we speak the words, deliver me, it means that we need to be freed from something. And what is that, what is that something? The something is anxiety so that we can be free to be in the present moment. And in the present moment is where God dwells. God dwells here and now, and he has all the graces and treasures and the beautiful things that he wants to give you. So he wants to free us so that we can receive all of those treasures now. Padre Pio has a wonderful quote where he says, Lord, the past to your mercy, the present to your love, and the future to your providence the present to your love, and the future to your providence. So God wants us to be free in the present moment so we can receive that love and to be open to the experiences and the people around us who are going to speak that love to us. But how do we do that? How, how do we stop worrying and stop being anxious? Uh, you might have tried to tell yourself, stop worrying, stop being anxious, and you realize this does not work. So what do we do? First, to pray, pray to be delivered so that you are not anxious. Deliver me, Jesus, from this anxiety about the future. Second, to recall, to bring to your mind the wonders the Lord has worked for you in the past. The Israelites did this all the time. They always had to call to mind and remember the good things God had done. He delivered them through the Red Sea. He fed them with manna in the desert. So they would say, remember the works the Lord has done for me. So to recall how he has helped in the past, even if it's the big things in the past or just today or yesterday that God has taken care. Take truth and put it in the place of where worry is. Speak true things. What's true about this situation? What, not what might be, but what is true. And what's true about God? God is a loving father who has providential care over his children. It says that he dressed the lilies of the field and took care of the sparrows. And he said, you are worth more than all the sparrows and every hair on your head has been counted. So speak those truths and then take worry and make it a prayer so that all of a sudden you're having a conversation with a person and who can and will do beautiful things for you. So in adoration and times that you're walking around and you have those worry and anxious thought, turn it into a prayer, a conversation. St. Peter has a beautiful line that he says in his letter, and he said, cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. Mm -hmm.